happy saturday it is currently around 8 and i'm about to go to pottery every week i go to this open pottery studio where i just make little things and i think it's like super cute it's like one of my hobbies that i've been starting and it's super fun currently i am making an ashtray and a tumbler cup but i think today i might be making a dish i haven't really decided maybe like a pen holder because one of my friends did request that but i don't know we'll have to see but i'm super excited so this morning i thought that it would be a really good idea to maybe journal I have two journals. One of them is for manifestation and one of them I've literally had since junior high. I kind of just like write my feelings and thoughts. Today, I think I'm just gonna write down what I'm grateful for and maybe my intentions for the day and everything like that. I ha also haven't manifested in a while. The last time I manifested, I think it was in September. I don't know, today I just kind of thought it'd be a good day to get back into it. Maybe reread some things that I've manifested and Go from there. Yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. some food and groceries i was originally gonna go to a cafe and make it like all aesthetic <laughs> and everything but i don't know if today is the day for that it's pretty cold out but i'm probably gonna be staying inside all day anyways and i have to do laundry washing my bed sheets specifically cleaning my room and maybe i don't even know what else i have planned honestly but i really do have to clean my room because the aftermath of midterms has gotten to me so <laughs> i've been putting off getting groceries but i think today is the day that i need to go get it and i think it will be good to treat myself to a nice little meal i am so happy about my octopus jewelry holder that i made it's for one of my friends and i'm very excited to give it to them because i think they would really like it today has been a really good day so far <laughs> I end up getting this to treat myself a little bit, so I can eat this and then I will start cleaning my room. So. intermission i ended up going to a friend's house and we made pizza but i did not film whatsoever and i just ended the night with a nighttime routine so we can just go ahead into that
Hi, so it's the end of the night and I'm just about to go to bed, but I thought I would have a little discussion about letting go and having plans, but not having them work out. Because today, originally, I planned out this entire video a couple of days ago and I planned out what I was going to do, how I was going to do it, the order of what I was going to do. Today just kind of showed me that you can plan and plan and plan. At the end of the day, a lot of the best times or moments that you have are unexpected or spontaneous. I think that's just what happened today because it was quite cold so originally I wanted to be outside a little bit more and kind of go out and about but I just wasn't able to and I didn't necessarily want to as well. I think it was just the fact that I was honoring what I wanted to do and trusting my intuition going about the day with how I felt, checking in with my thoughts and my feelings of what I'm doing and being intentional, which I feel as though I kind of lost within myself when I'm either stressed or doing midterms. Just having a lot on your mind because I think in general I am quite a chaotic person, although I might seem like pretty mellow when I'm on my own, um, which is quite true, but when I'm around other people and like my own thoughts can be quite disorganized and chaotic, which is fine, but I think on days like this where I planned step by step what I wanted to do and it just didn't work out but at the end of the day I ended up going with the flow and it turned out to be a very good day. Going back to pottery and my professor that I do it with, we had a lovely conversation. She was kind of explaining about how in pottery you kind of have to learn the art of letting go because sometimes one little thing in clay like if there's a bubble or i don't remember another example but basically if there's one small thing that is wrong it can ruin an entire project basically she was saying that a lot of the time if a project doesn't work out like that's life there's nothing that you can really do about it and i just found that very powerful and it resonated with me so I thought I would share and I just feel as though today that's exactly what happened and I think that's what life is all about. Now that's the end of the night, I also found this notebook that my friend gave me. I thought we could go through it together because I do really like the prompt. It is with Bell Let's Talk but I don't know if they're cancelled or not but I'm still gonna do it regardless and if you'd like to follow along please go ahead. And I like this prompt because it's all about gratitude. And although I did a little bit of gratitude this morning, I feel as though I'm in a different headspace. So I thought I could do it again. So first, how I'm feeling today. Honestly, I am quite content. I'm very happy because even this morning, it was very cold and I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to go throughout my day. It turned out that I when I went to pottery, it was just like, so good of a start to my day and then I had a conversation with my parents and I was able to hang out with a friend and I had great pizza that we made together and we watched movies. It was overall just like a really good day. Overall, I would say I am content today. What did I do today to support a friend or a family member? I wouldn't necessarily say this is support for a friend or family member. I did kind of realize that one thing that I do when I'm hanging out with someone or I'm talking to someone, I have a hard time just documenting when I'm hanging out with other people because I'm just so content and happy that I'm able to have this like connection and conversation with them that I just don't really think about like taking a picture, or taking a video, or like being on my phone just because like, I don't know, I think the connection and the conversation that you are having in that moment with that other person is like something that you have to cherish because it's something that you won't experience twice. That sounds so cheesy but I don't know it's just something that I have always thought about and I think another thing is like just talking to my parents regularly. I'm out of town for university so I don't get to see them often and so every single time I do get to have a conversation with them I am very happy about it so yeah 
five things that I am grateful for. First, my friends and family and all the people that are in my life. Second, I love my bed. It's quite comfy, I can't even lie, and now that I have fresh seats on it, it's gonna be a very good sleep. Third, I would say just water. <laughs> sometimes I say that just because I get dehydrated sometimes and I forget to drink water, and that was one of those days, so I am grateful I am able to rehydrate myself. Number four, I'm grateful that I was able to go to pottery and have like an outlet today for my own mental, emotional type of outlet, so. I'm grateful for that. And lastly, I think I'm grateful for myself. I think I don't give myself enough credit sometimes, and I am very grateful for me. <laughs> Finally, what did I do today to positively impact my own mental health? I think it just goes back to trusting myself and going with my intuition and doing the things that I wanted to do by checking in with myself. And I'm really happy that today went the way that it did. I think I really needed it after being so stressed and so scheduled and just trying to stick to a productivity mindset, I guess you could say. So yeah, sorry for rambling, but I feel as though I kind of needed this discussion and I wanted to share. It's quite late. I think it's my bedtime and I'm going to try and have a restful sleep. I hope you are able to rest, recharge, or reset in whatever that means for you. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good life, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!